Cadillac ATS VR, one of the very cool things about it is that this car right here actually came off the assembly line in, in Lansing. It goes to the race shop, they strip it down, and then they start turning it into a race car. You know, when people wonder, okay, why are we involved in racing? Well, really to showcase the athleticism that goes throughout the Cadillac brand and the performance, but particularly the V-Series. Now, when we look at the ATS VR, we're sharing the same 3.6 liter twin turbo engine. In racing configuration, we're probably about mid 500 horsepower, but a car that really, you know, started life as a production ATSV, you know, this was just uh, one chassis that was very lucky. We use uh, the Brembo brakes, which are also on the ATSV. And one of the reasons we compete in the in the World Challenge is because we are competing against who we sell against. Okay, in, in this series, I am going to be racing against Porsche, McLaren, Ferrari, Audi all the top world brands for both performance and performance luxury. So uh, we've been very successful uh, in Cadillac racing in the six years that I've been with the team so far. We've won four championships, so uh, that's kind of a good thing. All the bodywork is carbon fiber to make the car lighter. If you look inside, we've got a lot of safety innovations in it. This car is actually custom built for me. Uh, the seat is custom built for me. We've got this crash protection should we get a side impact. But one of the very cool things when we go back to uh, racing in production. The traction control system that is utilized on the production ATSV and CTSV actually came out of racing. And that is a tunable system. You've got five or six different channels so that you can really alter how much assist you get from your car when you're on the racetrack or on the street, wherever you're getting after it in these cars. They're, they're, they're pretty spectacular. And uh, the racing version, uh, I'm just a lucky guy that gets to drive it.